What is up guys? Today I got to meet Julia Chow from JK Films in New York City in Washington Square Park. She's so chill, she's so cool, she's funny. Her blue hair is next level. Meeting her was just such an honor and I had a chance to film a skit. She slapped me! It was freaking awesome. So I filmed like a Q&A that everybody was involved in, that everybody was talking about. Basically all kinds of stuff. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you enjoy the vlog. This video might be into two parts or three parts. I don't know because it's really long. There's a lot of questions I got answered, a lot of cool stories and stuff like that. So enjoy. That's so hard because the friend that was actually showing me around in New York, she's a big booty. So most of the places I've ate at were pretty good. So I went to like Izudo Ramen. I went to, um, was it Uptown? I had oysters there or something. Like there's a place, or the upstate. I think it's upstate. No, uptown. Wait, I don't no, know. Upstate. 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 But there was another place that I went to that I had oysters. Um, another place, I see. Oh, I had I had Shake Shack. Oh. <laughs> That's like in and out. Shake Shack or in and out? Shake Shack or in and out. Ah, uh, you can't compare. <laughs> that was in Oregon. That was in Oregon. Like you can't. Like Shake Shack is actually really, really good. It's really good. But I, I still like In and Out is still pretty good too. They're they're a different type of burger. Okay. They're a different type of burger. So you can't really compare. But they're all pretty good though. I do like your guys' milkshakes though though. I had um big big A ice cream. Uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I had moments to do like milk bar. Uh did I say I had Ipuko already? Yeah, yeah. Yeah I did? Okay. What what else did I have? Um I had a lot guys. Um, I feel like I ate so much. <laughs> it was like not stop eating. <laughs> no, you know, actually, um, I went to the Forever 21 at Times Square yesterday. Dude, that's so big. It's like four stories. Yeah. It's very interesting because like they have like a dress like LA section. And I know that in LA they have a dress like New York section. <laughs> I am so tripped out right now. But your guys' fashion is, is a bit different though. Yeah, I feel like your guys is a bit more like, what? Last year, or like slightly more towards like business casual, but yeah. It's like you guys have much cleaner cuts. I don't know. I feel like in California, it's like a whole bunch of hippies. Favorite guest? Oh man. How did David go? How did David go? How did David? I think um. Well, Gina's always fun. Yeah, Gina's always fun. Um, I like Beatrix. Oh, yeah. I th honestly like every guest we had they're they're a lot of fun. Like we had um I think it was like Omar, we had Jasmine, Omar. we also had Blockalotti, she was a lot of fun. Uh, we had like Mega Batu come out, um who else do we have? We had like Taryn is great, Nikki is great. Honestly like all the guests that we have, they're all great though. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> I think the appointment was like seven hours long, but but the process itself, it wasn't that long. It's just that uh, our hairstylist was doing me and Tip at the same time, so that's why it took longer. But I only had to bleach my hair like two times in one setting, and then I just added color in. Yeah, it was so crazy because when I went blonde, I was like, <laughs> "Whoa, this is weird." And then especially when Tip used to super sing. <laughs> like, like the filter on me, I was like, okay, this is actually kind of cool. I could, I could live with blonde hair. <laughs> yeah, at this point, I'm just gonna grow it out, but I'll probably try different styles as I grow out. But I feel like, I feel like by the time my hair grows out, I'm not gonna have a good. <laughs> you want me to just shave this up? <laughs> we'll see. I don't know. I may go crazy. I just go, <laughs> yeah. I'll just do it. But um, as of now. I don't think I can, I understand why people say once you color your hair, you can never go back. Like, I, I completely understand that because when, when I think about it and I look at myself in the mirror, I'm like, you are blue apple. <laughs> I, I identify with this so much that like, I don't think I can see myself without having blue hair. Because like, people are like, oh, what other colors do you want to try? And I'm like, 
Uh, I don't know, maybe like a brown. It's like, well, what about like purple, red, or like yellow, or like all these other colors? I'm like, I think I'll still go with blue though. I'm not really feeling those colors, but. It works with you. Yeah, yeah. I don't. Ah, so like when I think about it, I feel like I'm still gonna color my hair. But I feel like my hair's gonna be really damaged, but we'll see though. I'm gonna have blue in it somehow. I don't think I'm ever gonna stray away from this color. <laughs> I think when I first went into college, I knew I wanted to go into some place like into animation or like something into the creative. Uh, I just didn't know that it was in production, so I just figured, okay, I must be an artist first to like, I guess, figure out like where I need to be at. And I think it wasn't until the last year of college when I was like, oh my god, this whole time, if I had done a little bit more research, I would have known that I wanted to go into production because for me, I like creating things and like seeing my own work, like it's really cool. But I actually get a lot more joy out of helping others finish their projects and then seeing them happy. I'm like, I get a lot more fulfillment out of that versus, yay, I finished my own project, check this out. <laughs> like, I don't know, like, I guess for every artist, like, you're your own, like, biggest critic. And so for any work that I do, I'm like, mm, it's cool. So. I, I realize that I, I just enjoy production a lot more. I think it's, you just have to experience it for, for a bit, but I completely shifted everything over from drawing all the way into like the business end, so I'm like, I'm still learning, but it's a lot of fun though. I enjoy it. I love your drawing. Oh, yeah. thank you. They're really old though. <laughs> yeah, they're cute. Uh, that in mind. I can draw stick figures, that's it. And if you, if you practice, I mean, I start off with stick figures too. <laughs> It's so hard, I can't really decide. Brown, brown was really cute. Okay, my thought process right now is, okay, so Tope was really, really cute. She's super cute, she's like this small, and like she has like the best smile. Meatloaf is just, he's, he's like a big, like literally a big Meatloaf that just walks around the office. He's exactly like smart, like he doesn't know smart. <laughs> like especially like, so there's a time where he's wearing a cone around the office. And he's just walking, he bumps into tables, right? But then he he doesn't like like actually step back and assess the situation. He just continues to move forward. <laughs> <laughs> like, he doesn't really care where anything is, he just keeps moving. And if it doesn't work, he'll just even push even further. So like I feel like that's he's just like a reflection of Bart. That's what we love it. And like he's such a sweet guy, like when you see him, he's like, hey, and he's very like mild and he's like He's a very chill dog. And then there's Pod, like she's really cute, but then I don't think she likes to get near me. Wow. I, I don't know, maybe she has something that's like short hair. Or like <laughs> people that tend to wear black often, I guess. Like, But she's really sweet though, she's really nice. And then there's Reggie, she loves pets and like she loves hugs. And then, uh, let's see, there's Maddie and Sophie. Sophie's really shy, but she's super cute. Maddie is super independent, so she likes to go off on anything and do whatever she wants to do. But she's really cute too. But she's very like heavy set. I remember I went into the office and she jumped on me, and I was like, "Whoa!" <laughs> and then Booty's really cute, but I never, oh, I never really got to play with her. So like, she's really cute. And then there's, I know I'm missing. Am I missing a dog? I am missing a dog. Oh, oh. oh he's like the cutest dog ever. Like he was so sweet too. Like he would let me do whatever I wanted with him. And I feel like. Come like cuddle with me both, but then he wouldn't really want to stay very long. Ronan is crazy. He's 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 crazy. And he's still he's definitely still a puppy. So everything around him is very new. Um, and he's like in the phase where he just wants to mark everything. So like he does have to pee a lot, but he's, <laughs> he has high energy, I can tell you that. But I can't choose one. <laughs> the only dogs I've seen the most would just be Bart and Dio's dog. Uh, uh, I haven't seen Ronan in the office yet. I think Brandon is still trying to figure out how to how to bring him along. Just because like Brandon's schedule is a little bit everywhere, so it's not fair to have to leave Ronan at the office when he's out. Yeah. So um, they have they all have interacted with each other. They all do get along. This is definitely one of the dream jobs. There are definitely a lot of other things I would love to do. For those of you guys who don't really know what you want to do in life. Uh, honestly, just like follow what your passions are and then just continue learning. Like, um, the only thing that can get you places is you just continue to push yourself and 
continue to like teach yourself things that you never knew. Because yeah. I mean like, with the whole thing about me joining in JK, like, for me, like, I have no experience in production, but fuck it, I'm just gonna ask anyways. If I don't get a job here, that's cool too, it's not the end of the world. I'm gonna continue to like, uh, work on my portfolio, or I'm gonna continue to maybe either two classes, or just like learn things on my own and then apply them to like my next job. So it's just like always, always continue to like to learn and wanting to learn. But I think that's only the best way because like everyone here is like their own entrepreneur. So you guys like just I don't know what else to say. Just keep going and like just pick up new things and like continuously learn because that's the only way that you guys can all grow.